You're so used to seeing your town, your city, or even your continent that it's easy to forget. Everything on the planet used to look completely different. But this tour will take you coast to coast, showing you some highlights of how North America took its shape today. Take a look at New York City. Today, it's a grid of streets lined with enormous buildings. But there are strange rocks all over the city, hinting at an earlier, far different landscape. About 450 million years ago, a chain of volcanic islands headed towards the coast, bulldozing mud from the seafloor, and pushing up mountains 10 times taller than any skyscraper in the city. As the mountains eroded away, mud from the sea compressed into Manhattan schist, this bedrock makes strong foundations for the towering skyscrapers that make up this amazing skyline today. Now let's go to the Rocky Mountains. As permanent a fixture as they seem now, these spectacular peaks haven't always been here. Before the Rockies came the ancestral Rocky Mountain range that dominated the landscape here. Erosion ground these mountains down into sand and pebbles, which were buried and crushed into sandstone slabs. Millions of years later, violent forces pushed up the Rockies version 2.0, lifting and tilting these sandstone slabs sideways. This created the flat irons that can be seen in the foothills of today's Rockies. Nearby in Zion National Park, sandstone forms the sheer walls of the cliffs. That's because this place used to be all sand. The ancestral Rockies disrupted the atmosphere, preventing moisture from reaching this land, transforming it into a vast desert with dunes piled upon dunes. But some of the most surprising clues of the continent's past come from fossils. Here in Kansas, you can find bones of an 80 million year old fish that was 14 feet from end to end. So what was a fish doing here in the dry plains of Kansas? 130 million years ago, after the ancestral Rockies had eroded away, oceans flooded the land, creating a vast warm sea that split North America in two. Not far away, at the Kuiperowitz Plateau in Utah, the bones of scores of dinosaurs from this hothoused world have been discovered along what was once the coast of the Inland Sea. The ground reveals not just how life flourished, but also how species died. You may have heard that an asteroid the size of Mount Everest hit the Yucatan Peninsula, laying waste to the dinosaurs. Here in the Badlands, you can actually see the thin dark layer that contains the telltale evidence of the impact 65 million years ago. Below the line, you can find dinosaur bones. Above it, none. From then on, mammals ruled the continent. Over time, those mammals diversified, and in the La Brea tar pits, bones of giant Ice Age mammals have been found. Woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and camels, right here in what is now the booming metropolis of Los Angeles. Those Ice Age beasts began to disappear from the continent just as another mammal arrived. Humans began their conquest simply with sharp spears, but have since changed the entire face of the continent creating structures that rival those built by nature. But our constructions are just as vulnerable as the ones created by nature. Just up the coast at Wallace Creek, the 700-mile-long San Andreas Fault, the boundary between the Pacific and North American plates, is exposed. Tectonic activity is slowly moving this part of the California coast northwards. One day, the drive between LA and San Francisco may be a lot less than six hours. This is just one of many places on Earth reminding us that the landscape you see around you today looked different in the past and will likely look very different again in the future.